This is Casey Hendrickson on News Talk 95.3, Michiana's News Channel. <laughs> did, I, did I call it? Did I call it or what? I, was just, I just said this. I cue the outrage from people who hate John Bolton. And have always hated John Bolton. I've always wanted John Bolton out of Washington. They wanted them out of uh, the Bush administration, wanted them out of Trump administration. And now the moment that Trump fires the guy, you've got all of these people who have hated John Bolton forever coming out and defending John Bolton now and saying that the president is uh, creating some kind of a constitutional crisis or some other nonsense. Schumer is the latest one to do it. I mean, it's it's hysterical to watch that stuff happen, but (sighs) it's so predictable. They did the same thing with Comey. When Comey was fired, okay, that morning, everybody on the political left of the country had been demanding that Comey get fired. They didn't want him there. Remember, that morning, we found out that Comey was wrong or lied, whichever one you want to you know, conclude on your own, about how many emails were on Uma Abedin's laptop. And so when we found out that Comey had overestimated the number of emails were on uh, Uma Abedin's laptop from Hillary's server, Everybody wanted him fired, right? All Everybody on the left wanted him fired. The president fired him that afternoon and immediately, and I actually quoted several of the same media reporters who had demanded that he be fired that morning, turned right around and said, this is a constitutional crisis. The president can't fire the FBI director, which, of course, the president can't. By the way, I'm Casey Hendrickson. I'm covering for Pat Miller on News Talk 1190-1075 FM. And, of course, my regular audience, I'm still streaming to all of you like normal at 95.3MNC.com.